blossoms flowered mid the snows upon a winter night was born the child the Christmas rose the king of love and light the angels sang the shepherds sang the grateful earth rejoiced and People who walked in darkness have seen a great light. A light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Those who dwelt in the land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. We have beheld Christ's glory, glory as of the only Son from the Father. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given. In him was life, and the life was the light of man. Oh, come all ye 
The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who led your people Israel by a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. Enlighten our darkness by the light of your Christ. May his word be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. For you are merciful and you love your whole creation and we your creatures glorify you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray. Almighty God, you made this holy night shine with the brightness of the true light. Grant that here on earth we may walk in the light of Jesus' presence and in the last day wake to the brightness of his glory through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness 
have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, as people exalt when dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor, you have broken as on the day of Midian. For all the boots of the tramping warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of the hosts will do this. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God's glory among the nations and God's wonders among all peoples. Let the heavens rejoice. As for all the gods of the nations, they are but idols, but you, O Lord, have made the heavens. Ascribe to the Lord, you families of the peoples. Ascribe to the Lord honor and power. Let the heavens rejoice and the earth be glad. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Tremble before the Lord all the earth. Let the heavens rejoice and the earth be glad. Let the sea thunder and all that is in it. Let the field be joyful and all that is therein. You 
will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with your truth. Let the heavens rejoice and the earth be glad. reading from Titus. For the grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation to all, training us to renounce impiety and worldly passions, and in the present age to live lives that are self-controlled, upright, and godly, while we wait for the blessed hope and the manifestation of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. He, it is, who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify for himself a people of his own who are zealous for good deeds. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Gospel according to Luke. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. For see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste 
and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Christ. Merry Christmas. We're so glad that you're joining us for worship tonight. Thanks for being here with us. As difficult as this time can be for folks normally, 2020, in classic 2020 fashion, has added a whole new level to the complicated feelings that can accompany this season. But even so, it really is such a gift to be able to celebrate this special night together with you. So thank you for celebrating with us. As I was preparing to preach tonight, I was finding that on the one hand, it's easy to preach Christmas Eve because this is the night. It is one of the best stories of all time and it is bursting with great news. On the other hand, it is a bit difficult because really, what more is there to say? Do not be afraid. A child is born for all people. God's very presence, the grace of God, bringing salvation to all. If we listen, every single aspect of this worship service preaches that good news. Our hymns, our readings, our prayers, our communion liturgy, good news abounds. The gift of this particular time in the service is the opportunity to consider how this good news is still bringing new life into our lives today. Even in 2020, even in less than ideal circumstances. After all, that's the original context for this good news. Think about it. Was Mary and Joseph's trip to Bethlehem ideal? No. (laughs) Is that the way Mary would have wanted to spend her third trimester? No, definitely not. Wouldn't they have rather stayed in a room meant for people? I imagine so. Would they have chosen to become first-time parents far from home? Nope, I don't think so. And can you imagine the return trip with an infant? And even before they could return home, they would flee from Herod as refugees to Egypt. There was nothing about this holy night that was perfect or how they had planned it. Except, of course, for the coming of Christ into the world. And don't you suppose that is enough? Not much about our celebrations this year is ideal. Our holidays are probably filled with more silence than we'd like. Fewer family gatherings, if any. No office parties. And we'll sing Silent Night at the end of the service, but we won't be able to look around at a church filled with flickering flames, reminding us of God's presence in and with 
every single one of us. And while it really stinks that Christmas is so different this year, it's also not different at all. The story is the same. God's presence in the Christ child is the same. And God's presence in and with every single one of us tonight is the same as it has always been, year after year. The joy and praise and love and celebration of Christmas this year might not be quite as big or loud or as involved, but they are just as real. That's undeniable as we consider on this silent night, a child born away from home to an unwed mother and lying in a manger on that silent night. And so we praise God and give glory to God tonight because there is still so much praise and glory due to God. As far as I can tell, the church was made for moments like this and from moments like this. Beautiful and imperfect, complicated and salvific. All through our Advent midweek worship, we talked about the unbreakable gifts of Christmas. Hope, love, joy, and peace. These are just some of the gifts we receive in Christ. Hope that one day evil and death will be no more. Love that is higher and deeper and wider than we can imagine. Joy that God walks with us and showers us with blessings even in the midst of great challenges and despair. And peace that we cannot fully understand, but in which we can fully rest. Sometimes I think it can be easy to gloss over the details in this familiar story. We've heard it how many times? But can we listen with the shepherds, ponder with Mary, proclaim with the angels, this is not just a story. Within the events of this night are wrapped up God's promises to dwell among us, to love us, to show up in our lives again and again, to save us from ourselves and one another, to declare to all the world that pain, death, sadness, and despair are never the last word, never have the final say. God is at work. God is with us. And God is at work. Christmas Eve is a special day in the church year, obviously, but it is so much more than that. It calls us to shift our sights, reset our patterns, remember what joy this mysterious, miraculous, renewing event brings. It invites us into a feeling of awe, not just today, but every day. This day gives us the opportunity to pause, take a breath, sit in awe of what God did in this ancient story and what God still does in the stories of our lives today. Do you perceive it? Can you see it? The great light that shines in the deep darkness, the one who is at work increasing our joy, filling us with love, bringing about endless peace, establishing a world of justice and righteousness. It can be hard to spot in a world that continues to be corrupt, confusing, and cruel. Jesus' coming did not solve all problems or make it unnecessary for us to do the hard work of peace and justice but rather Jesus invites us into the work, always walking with us along the way and giving us what we need in the first place to begin to change ourselves and in our own small way 
to change the world. As we let God come to us, into our lives, right where we are in all of our less than ideal circumstances, miracles begin to happen. Just as God did not choose to enact the Christmas miracle without our participation, God continues to ask us to participate in life's miracles. After all, Christmas isn't automatic. It can't be taken for granted. It began with Mary. But each of us is asked to make our own contribution to giving flesh, to faith, love, and hope in the world. May this special night renew and rekindle our faith so that just as Mary did, we might all have the courage to say yes, to allow the Holy Spirit to work in our lives, to bear the hope, love, joy, and peace of Christ in this world, bringing about miracles, even and especially in less than ideal circumstances. 2020 has been a heck of a year, Hope Lutheran. And I know that many of us feel this all the more keenly during this special season. I know there is nothing about this holy night that is perfect or how we had hoped or how we may have planned it. Except, of course, for the coming of Christ into the world. And I know that is enough. All praise and glory be to God. In Jesus' name, amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. 
he descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Joining our voices with the song of the angels, let us pray for the church, the world, and all who are in need. The shepherds sing, Jesus Christ is born. Let your church throughout the world proclaim this good news over the hills and everywhere. Unite the voices of all your faithful people in songs of praise and rejoicing. Hear us, O God, your mercy is great. Heaven and nature sing joy to the world. Give respite to flocks, fields, and those who tend them. Come near to us in the beauty of nighttime, the shining of the stars, and the hush of the world at rest. May our wonder at your creation rise our care for all the earth. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. The angels sing peace on earth. Come quickly to still the strife of this world. Hush the noise of war and violence in places of unrest. Inspire leaders of nations to seek lasting peace and sustainable provision for all in their care. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. Mary sings melodies of comfort to her newborn child. Bring rest and reassurance to those facing struggles this night. Shelter travelers and those without homes. Console those who lie awake due to pain or anxiety. Heal those who are sick or hurting. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. Love sings through the sound of a new baby's cry. Bless new parents and expectant parents. Comfort those who long for children, especially those running out of hope or options. Surround families of every shape and size with your love and care. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. The heavenly chorus sings, Glory to God in the highest. We give you thanks for all the saints who have proclaimed your glory in word and deed. Let us join them this night in joyful praise around your eternal throne. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. God of mercy, come quickly to us with grace upon grace as we lift these and all our prayers to you. In the name of Jesus, amen. My friends, the peace of Christ be with you always. Share that peace with one another wherever you are this night. To everyone here tonight, God's peace, God's peace. We bless you. We thank you for wherever you are tonight being with us in this time and place. It certainly is a special night as we all know. We are glad that you're able to join us in this way. At this, piece, at this time, you know, we're hoping that you're having a wonderful and safe Christmas with your family and friends. And this is our time of offering. We encourage you to go to our website, www.hlc.church, uh, and, and contribute if you are able. Again, all your contributions help the mission of Hope Lutheran. At this time, we will now take a moment to prepare our hearts and minds for our Eucharist. <laughs>
Let us pray. Gracious God, you came to us as as one unknown, bringing joy and salvation to the earth. Nourish us at your banquet table, that with all who welcome your birth, we may proclaim your peace, revealed in Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is indeed right our duty and our joy that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, almighty and merciful God, through our Savior Jesus Christ. In the wonder and mystery of the Word made flesh, you have opened the eyes of faith to a new and radiant vision of your glory that beholding the God made visible, we may be drawn to love the God whom we cannot see. And so with all the choirs of angels, with the church on earth and the host of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. Holy One, the beginning and the end, the giver of life. Blessed are you for the birth of creation. Blessed are you in the darkness and in the light. Blessed are you for your promise to your people. Blessed are you in the prophet's hopes and dreams. Blessed are you for Mary's openness to your will. Blessed are you for your son Jesus, the word made flesh. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread and gave thanks. He broke it and he gave it to his disciples saying, take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it for all to drink, saying, this cup is a new covenant in my blood shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ Christ has died, Christ Christ is risen, Christ Christ will come come again. again. With this bread and cup, we remember your word dwelling among us, full of grace and truth. We remember our new birth in his death and resurrection. We look with hope for his coming. Come, Lord Jesus. Holy God, we long for your spirit. Come among us, bless this meal. May your word take flesh in us. Awaken your people, fill us with your light, bring the gift of peace on earth. Come, Holy Spirit. All praise and glory are yours, Holy One of Israel, Word of God incarnate, power of the Most High, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The word is revealed in a manger, in simple bread and wine. Come meet Christ in this meal.
this time, wherever you are at home, we invite you to participate in our Holy Eucharist. You'll find instructions in the distribution of Holy Communion in the bulletin found on our website. Again, we encourage you to take part of this special meal that we share together as we share in the body and blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, on this very special night. The stars are brightly shining, it is the night of our dear Savior's birth. Long lay the world in sin and error burning, till he appeared and the soul give you thanks, gracious God, that you have once again fed us from your very self with the body and blood of Christ. Through this mystery, send us forth to proclaim your promise to a world in need. Through the same, Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. At this time, we have our candle lighting uh, liturgy. We invite you at home to grab a candle as we sing together Silent Night again on this Nativity of our Lord.
In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood or of the will of the flesh or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us. And we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. The Gospel of the Lord. Almighty God, who sent the Holy Spirit to Mary, proclaimed joy through the angels, sent the shepherds with good news, and led the Magi by a star, bless you this day through the word made flesh. Amen. Merry Christmas, everybody.
Go in peace. Share the gift of Jesus. Thanks be to God.